Hello, Dan Redelkowski here from howtomechatronics.com. In this Arduino tutorial, we will learn how to use TFT touchscreens with Arduino. For that purpose, I composed the following three examples. The first example is distance measurement using ultrasonic sensor. The output of the sensor or the distance is printed on the screen and using the touchscreen we can select the units either centimeters or inches. The next example is controlling an RGB LED using these three RGB sliders. For example, if we start to slide the blue slider, the LED will light up in blue and increase the light as we would go to the maximum value. So the sliders can move from 0 to 255 and with their combination we can set any color to the RGB LED, but just keep in mind that the LED cannot represent the colors that much accurate. The third example is a game, actually it's a replica of the popular Flappy Bird game for smartphones. We can play the game using the push button or even using the touch screen itself. Now we will go through each of these examples and step by step explain the codes behind them. But before we do that, let's see what hardware we need for this tutorial. As an example, I'm using a 3.2 inches TFT touchscreen in a combination with a TFT LCD Arduino Mega Shield. We need a shield because the TFT touchscreen works at 3.3 volts and the Arduino Mega outputs are 5 volts. For the first example, I will use the HC SR04 ultrasonic sensor, then for the second example, an RGB LED with 3 resistors and a push button for the game example. Also, I had to make a custom made pin header like this by soldering two pin headers and bent one of them so I could insert it in between the Arduino board and the TFT shield. Here's the circuit schematic, we will use the ground pin, the digital pins from A to 13 as well as the pin number 14. As the 5 volts pin are already used by the TFT screen, I will use the pin number 13 as VCC by setting it right away high in the setup section of the code. Ok, now we are ready to go through the Arduino code. I will use the UTFT and UTouch libraries made by Henning Carlson. Here I would like to say thanks to him for the incredible work he has done. The libraries enable really easy use of the TFT screens and they work with many different TFT screen sizes, shields and controllers. You can download these libraries from his website rinkydinkelectronics.com and also find a lot of demo examples and detailed documentation of how to use them. Ok, after we have included the libraries, we need to create UTFT and UTouch objects. The parameters of these objects depend on the model of the TFT screen and shield and these details can be also found in the documentation of the libraries. Next, we need to define the fonts that are coming with the libraries and also define some variables needed for the program. In the setup section, we need to initiate the screen and the touch, define the pin modes for the connected sensor, the LED and the button, and initially call the draw home screen custom function, which will draw the home screen of the program. Ok, now I will explain how we can make the home screen of the program. With the setback color function, we need to set the background color of the text, black one in our case. Then we need to set the color to white, set the big font, and using the print function, we will print the string Arduino TFT tutorial at the center of the screen and 10 pixels down the y axis of the screen. Next, we will set the color to red and draw the red line below the text. After that, we need to set the color back to white and print the two other strings by howtomechatronics.com using the small font and select example using the big font. Next is the distance sensor button. First, we need to set the color and then using the fill round red function, we will draw the rounded rectangle. Then we will set the color back to white and using the draw round rec function we will draw another rounded rectangle on top of the previous one but this one will be without a fill so the overall appearance of the button looks like it has a frame. On top of the button we will print the text using the big font and the same background as the fill of the button. The same procedure goes for the two other buttons. Now we need to make the buttons functional so that when we press them they would send us to the appropriate example. In the setup section we set the character 0 to the current page variable which will indicate that we are at the home screen. 
So if that's true and if we press on the screen, this if statement would become true and using these lines here, we would get the x and y coordinates where the screen has been pressed. If that's the area that covers the first button, we will call the draw distance sensor custom function which will activate the distance sensor example. Also, we will set the character 1 to the variable current page which will indicate that we are at the first example. The draw frame custom function is used for highlighting the button when it's pressed. The same procedure goes for the two other buttons. So the draw distance sensor custom function needs to be called only once when the button is pressed in order to draw all the graphics for this example in similar way as we described for the home screen. However, the get distance custom function needs to be called repeatedly in order to print the latest results of the distance measured by the sensor. Here is that function which uses the ultrasonic sensor to calculate the distance and print the values with 7 segment num font in green color, either in centimeters or inches. If you need more details how the ultrasonic sensor works, you can check my particular tutorial for that. Back in the loop section, we can see what happens when we press the select unit buttons as well as the back button. Ok, next is the RGB LED control example. If we press the second button, the draw LED control custom function will be called only once for drawing the graphics for that example and the set LED color custom function will be repeatedly called. In this function, we use the touch screen to set the values of the three sliders from 0 to 255. With these if statements here, we confine the area of each slider and get the x value of uh, each slider. So the values of the x coordinate of each slider are from 38 to 310 pixels and we need to map these values into values from 0 to 255 which will be used as a PWM signal for lighting up the LED. If you need more details how the RGB LED works, you can check my particular tutorial for that. The rest of the code in this custom function is for drawing the sliders. Back in the loop section, we only have the back button which also turns off the LED when pressed. Next is the Arduino game example, but I will leave that one for my next tutorial so that we can better understand it as it's a bit more complex. Thanks for watching and for more tutorials and projects visit my official website howtomechatronics.com